Okay, so for this particular question, you're going to need to draw a diagram. And I would suggest it looks something along these kind of lines, where we have got our three particles, A, B, and C, each having a mass of M. And we're told that they're moving along on a smooth horizontal table with B between A and C. And before A hits B, okay, A is moving towards B with a speed of U meters per second. B and C are at rest. And after the impact, we've got to work out the speed of A and the speed of B. And I've called them VA and VB. And B is obviously going to move to the right. As for A, not too sure which way it's going to move. I'm going to suspect it's going to move to the right. It's easier to work with uh, if you do do that. If it's in the wrong sense, okay, it will just come out as a negative value. But let the mathematics do that for us, okay? We're also told that the coefficient of restitution between A and B and B and C is E, it equals two thirds. So I've just popped that in there. Okay, so how are we going to work out these speeds then of A and B after the impact? Well, we're going to need to use the conservation of linear momentum and Newton's law of restitution. Get two simultaneous equations with VA and VB in and then just solve them. Okay, so let's start then by looking at the conservation of linear momentum. So if we look at the conservation of linear momentum, we'll just put a subtitle in here. Okay, just guides the reader through what we're doing. So the conservation of linear momentum. We need to take a positive sense because we're dealing with vector quantities and I'm taking it to the right. It's totally up to you which way you do. And we've got then the total momentum before impact equals the total momentum after impact. Well, the momentum before impact is just going to come from A because B is at rest. So it's going to be M times the velocity U. So we've got MU there. And it equals the total momentum after impact. So it's going to be for A, M times VA, MVA. And for B, it's going to be the mass times the velocity. So it'll be MVB. Now, each term's got an M in, so I could divide through by M. And I end up with, therefore, U equals VA plus VB. So there's one of the two simultaneous equations. So we'll just call that number one. OK, so this is the first equation then for our simultaneous equations. And we need to get another one. And we get that by considering Newton's law of restitution. OK, we'll just write that in here. Newton's law of restitution. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with this law. OK, basically what we've got is that the coefficient of restitution, E, is equal to the relative speed of separation divided by the relative speed of approach. So in other words, relative speed of separation, we have got VB is greater than VA. They're both going in exactly the same direction. So that means it's going to be VB minus VA. And we compare that with the relative speed of approach. And because B is stationary, the relative speed of approach is just going to be U. Well, we know that it follows from this that E is 2 thirds. So we can put that in there as 2 thirds. And we've got that that equals VB minus VA all over U. And if we now multiply both sides by U, we end up with, therefore, 2 thirds U equals VB minus VA. And that will be our second equation. Now, many ways that you can solve simultaneous equations, either by substitution or elimination. And in this case, I'm going to use elimination because they've both got exactly the same pattern structure. 
but I leave it up to you. I'm going to do equation 1 minus equation 2 first of all. So 1 minus 2, what does that give us? Okay, well if we do u minus 2 thirds u, we're going to have 1 third u and it's going to equal, well the VB's are going to cancel out, VB minus this VB here and we've got VA minus minus this VA so that's going to give 2VA. And if we now divide both sides by 2 we end up with therefore VA equals 1 sixth U. Okay and so that means that the speed of A is going to be 1 sixth U. We now need to get the speed of B and we can do that by either substituting this value back into one of the, of the equations or you could do 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2, what does that give us? Well, we've got u plus 2 thirds u, which is going to be 5 thirds u. So just put that in, 5 thirds u. And then we've got VA minus this VA, so that cancels. And we've got VB plus this VB, which is 2VB. And again, if we divide by 2, we end up with VB equaling 5 sixths u. Okay, 5, 6 u. So we've got the two speeds. For part 1, the speed of A is going to be 1 6 u. And in part 2, the speed of B is going to be 5 6 u. Okay, so uh, I hope that gives you an idea. If you did decide to put VA in the opposite direction, work through the problem with the, still the same sense as we've got here, then you should have found out that VA came out to be minus 1 sixth U. You might like to try that. And that would mean that the speed though was obviously just 1 sixth U. So anyway, I hope that's given you some idea on how to go about that question.